What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. We got Abby, Ryan, and Jess. Yo! And it's Saturday. It's been super, super busy. We've had a ton of trade-ins, which we're going to show you here in just a little bit. And we have sold a lot of stuff today. Uh, we sold two GameCubes so far. PlayStation 1 Mini, uh, PlayStation 3 Slim, and the Turquoise Switch Lite. Were there any other consoles? I think that was it. Uh... <clears throat> But, we got the two PlayStations. Well, we got two PS2s traded in. And, uh, and a Super Nintendo Model 2. PS2 Multi-Tap. Uh, PlayStation 2 Controller. Rumble Pack. Um, two PlayStation 1 controllers. And then probably some other random stuff. I'm in the process of stacking up all the games so that we can show you guys all those. Because there's been a ton of them traded in. I'm separating them by system. And Ryan is still stickering stuff, so we have a lot to go. Um, so we're going to finish stickering, and then we'll show you guys everything. All right, guys, so we are closed now. Abby, Ryan, and Jess left quite a while ago. I'm staying late again tonight. Um, but I actually, um, Ryan found this on the ground this morning, and I forgot to show you guys. The package that I opened last night that had all the really high-end games in it, this was part of that bundle, and I guess when I dropped the stuff on the ground, this fell too, but it fell into that little tub. So I didn't see it when I was picking stuff up. So there was one other item from there, and that is a complete Pokemon Ruby version. So that was part of the bundle from yesterday. I just forgot to show you. So I'm going to go through now, show you guys all the trade-ins from today. We got some pretty good stuff. Um, nothing like crazy rare, but there's a lot of like RPGs and really cool stuff in here. And uh, one kind of cool item that I'm going to be keeping as well. So let's take a look. I've got everything stacked up here by system. Um, I also will mention, I don't know, I don't think they're still out here, but um, we had some consoles trade in. We might have already talked about those. Um, we had a Nintendo 64 come in today, um, Fat PS2, a white Wii, and a GameCube as well. There might have been a couple others that I'm not remembering, but those came in today for sure. So let's take a look at the games. For the NES, we have Tetris, Ninja Gaiden, RC Pro-Am, WWF WrestleMania, Castlevania, and Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. For original Xbox, we have Tony Hawk's American Wasteland and Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. For GameCube, we have SSX on Tour, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, Resident Evil 1, and Cars. For the original DS, we have Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor, Zelda Phantom Hourglass, Pokemon Black version, Radiant Historia with the top chewed up there by a dog, Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots, and Nintendogs Best Friends. For 3DS, we have Resident Evil Revelations, Shovel Knight, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Popo LaCroix, that's how I'm going to say it forever, I don't care if that's wrong, Pokemon Y version, Rune Factory 4, this is uh, Legend of Legacy, and it's got the little soundtrack, Super Mario 3D Land, New Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Smash Bros., and then we have some loose ones, I'll go over those last, Afro Samurai for the 360, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and Batman Arkham Asylum. Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon for the Wii U. For PlayStation 4, we have Persona 5, Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection, Uncharted 4, God of War, God of War 3 Remastered, Horizon Zero Dawn, Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition, never seen that one before, Nino Kuni Remastered, Shadow of the Colossus, and L.A. Noir. For Xbox One, we have a disc only Dead Rising 3, Mafia 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, and NBA 2K14. For PlayStation 3, we have Trails of Cold Steel, Bloodstone 007, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, Splinter Cell Double Agent, Modern Warfare 3, Far Cry 3, Dragon Age Origins Awakening Expansion Pack, Dragon Age Origins, Dead Rising 2, Dark Souls, Red Dead Redemption, Murdered Soul Suspect, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Dynasty Warrior 6, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Uncharted 1 and Uncharted 2, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, XCOM Enemy Unknown, Saints Row 4, 
and Army of Two. We have a couple VHS tapes. We have the little N64 sports one, and then Transformers the movie and the clamshell. For PSP, we have Grow Lancer, Wayfarer of Time, and also Final Fantasy IV, the complete collection. For PlayStation 1, Black Label Final Fantasy Chronicles, Black Label Final Fantasy Anthology, and Grandia. Pretty good one. For Nintendo 64, we have Super Mario 64, Superman, Quest 64, Aero Gauge, Conker's Bad Fur Day, that makes two, there's one in there. And then Mario Golf and Yoshi's Story. For Super Nintendo, we have Super Mario World and Super Mario Kart. Uh, these were part of the first trade-in of the day, so we actually got a Super Nintendo console as well because that came with one. It was a uh, Model 2. For Switch, we have Mega Man 11, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and Collection of Mana. For the PlayStation 2, we have a big stack. Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, Disgaea Hour of Darkness, Clock Tower 3, it's a pretty good one, Mega Man Anniversary Collection, Odin Sphere, Atelier Iris Eternal Mana, Kingdom Hearts, Burnout Revenge, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, Barnyard, Breeders' Cup Championships, Max Payne, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, Splinter Cell... SSX3, SpongeBob, Lights, Camera, Pants, SOCOM 2, SOCOM 1, Sly 2, Sly 1, TMNT, Star Wars Starfighter, Katamari Damacy, Killzone, Madagascar, Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island, Over the Hedge. This one was a big surprise. Avatar Last Airbender Into the Inferno is a $30 game. That is crazy. Avatar, The Last Airbender. This says that it includes a bonus disc, but there's nothing in here, and there's no slot for, like, a second disc. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Pac-Man World 2 and Final Fantasy XII Collector's Edition. And then, lastly, we have a couple loose 3DS games. Yokai Watch, Animal Crossing New Leaf, and Sims 3 Pets, obviously with no label. And then for the original DS... We have a bunch of filler titles. <laughs> there might be a couple good ones mixed in here. And actually, now that I'm now that I'm looking at these, we have more DS games that I didn't show you that were in the cases. Two copies of Deal or No Deal, two copies of My Sims. There was definitely more um, for the original DS. Actually, I think we have an entire stack over here. Yes. This whole stack was traded in today as well. So, we have a few more games. So, we got three copies of that traded in today. It's crazy. Uh, Diablo 3 for the Switch. Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Halo 2. Super Mario 2. Crash of the Titans. Urban Rain. 007 Nightfire. And Resident Evil 4 for PlayStation 2. And then we have Batman... Motor Storm, Men in Black 2, Tales of Zestiria for PS4, Horizon Zero Dawn, Lego Jurassic World, Final Fantasy Type-0, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, Spectrobes, Bellacera, Zoo Tycoon DS, Lego Star Wars 2, Nintendogs, Lab and Friends, Zelda Phantom Hourglass, and Pokemon Black version. The reason that I remembered that um, we had more games is because of that one. Because <laughs> I remember this game, I remember getting this a long time ago um, and being surprised that it was so expensive. I mean, 15 bucks is not that expensive, but for like, you know, for a horse game, it seems to be kind of expensive. And we got a cartridge traded in. Most of these DS games right here were traded in cartridge only. I believe, actually, this entire stack, those were all cartridge only, and we had cases for all of them. So that was super, super cool. And then finally, the last thing that I'm going to keep is this. The Pokemon Battle Dimension Sinnoh, I think that's how you pronounce it, Pokedex. And this is factory sealed, and it comes with these three figures. We have Dialga, Palkia, and I think that's Zekrom. And this thing is super cool. 
I don't think it's too expensive, but it's hard to actually find a value. Um, so you can get this Pokédex sealed without the figures for like 20 to 30 bucks on eBay. But with the figures, there's one posted for 130 but none sold. So I really don't know what the value is on it. And the only ones that were sold didn't have the figures, and they were selling for 20 to 30 So I paid 20 bucks for this one, and I'm going to keep it. The guy that I bought it from, he got it from the outlet this morning. He paid a dollar for it because <laughs> he got it for the electronics weight, which is 69 cents per pound. And I told him the same thing that I just told you guys. I told him what was what was posted, what was sold. I didn't know what to value it at. He said whatever you want to pay is fine because I paid a dollar for it. He's a regular. He's always bringing stuff from the outlet. I told him that I wanted to keep it and that I would I'd pay 20 bucks for it or I offered him 15. He countered it 20 and I said okay. So, I think it's pretty cool. I don't really care what it's worth cuz I'm not selling it, but yeah. It's it's really freaking cool. It is 12:01 a.m. just after midnight. And I am finally ready to head home for the night, guys. Obviously, I've been here pretty late, um, but I was able to finish getting all the stuff imported that I was working on yesterday, and I got everything stickered. So the GameCube games, uh, whatever else is in that bundle, is now imported. The only problem is that the website is still not fixed. Um, the fix that was supposed to work did not work unfortunately. So um, the developer of our software is working on it. He's got to figure it out. Um, so I think only like one of these GameCube games went on the website and it was one that didn't have a manual uh, because it didn't have a picture. So um, there is new stuff that got posted um, today from some of the trade-ins plus some of this stuff here, uh, but not everything. So please... Do not message us about this stuff. Um, whenever when, when this, this happened once before where this stuff wasn't being uploaded and we got so many messages about particular items and we cannot keep up with it. If you message us about that, we're probably not going to get back to you, unfortunately. Um, we get hundreds of messages every day already. It's almost impossible to keep up. Um, so we can't have an influx of messages because of this. So... If you are local, you can come to the store and purchase this stuff, of course. If it's on if it's on the website, of course, you can make a purchase. However, it's going to be at least probably a few more days before we can get this figured out. At that point, once it is fixed, the stuff will go on the website. So hopefully it's fixed sooner than later. But uh, until then, they're pretty much going to be in-store purchase only. And I do apologize for that. There's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, so, so there that is. Um, but it's a little bit past midnight. I need to go home, guys. I gotta get some sleep. I still have to edit this vlog. I don't know how much footage we have for today. I don't know if this is a 10-minute vlog or a 20-minute vlog. But hopefully you enjoyed it either way. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow.